All right, so Zach, you finally got to go to China. Tell us, how big is the car industry over there? Well, it's growing and it's massive. And you know what? The Chinese love cars just as much as we do in the West. We were there for the Beijing Auto Show, and the Sea of Humanity is like no other auto show I've ever been to. So many people. The good news is, I was one of the taller people there, so it was kind of fun to see. Uh, so many different cars. Now, Lacey, here's an example of just how big the Chinese market is. They sold 15 million cars throughout China last year. One manufacturer, Volkswagen, they're the biggest in China. They started making cars in 1983, so they have the biggest market share. They sold 3 million cars out of that 15 million. But fast forward to the first quarter of 2014, Volkswagen has sold 1.7 million cars in the first three months of 2014. That's the entire Canadian marketplace annually just in three months. That's, that's crazy. And you know what? The number of cars that they can buy, if they sort of match Western taste for how many cars we purchase, their market could be as big as 25 million cars every year. Amazing. Wow. Okay, so speaking of crazy, you must have seen some really unique, interesting things over there. Tell us about it. Well, you have the mainline cars, all the same brands that we have in the West, but you also have all the Chinese brands that we don't get here, and they certainly like to um, be influenced or copy existing brands. You know, you have the fake Louis Vuitton bag. Well, they have the knockoff versions of cars that we have on the road. So, yeah, you see some interesting cars, but you see a lot of cars, and you look at them and you go, that looks like a Toyota or that looks like a Nissan. Well, they're just, you know, basically copying what's successful. And you know what? They are less expensive than the real thing, and there's a lot of people that are just getting their very first car, and a knockoff is pretty good for them. So, Zach, what was the one thing for you that really just stuck out on this trip? How many people are there? I mean, we just cannot wrap our head around here in Canada with only 33 million people. Then China has 1.3 billion people. Multiply the population of the U.S. times four. That's China. And you know what? They want all the same stuff we have here in the West, and they're going to get it. You know what, Zach, I can't wait to hear all about it. And just so you guys know, we'll have a full report on Zach's trip to China on an upcoming episode of Driving Television.